And so as we've grown, um, it's been really cool to see how we as an organization have been positioned and grown in the industry as well as the value we're bringing in the industry. And we have some exciting changes we're gonna be talking about in relationship to the leadership of NVO. Welcome to the Smarter Building Materials Marketing Podcast, helping you find better ways to grow leads, sales, and outperform your competition. All right, everybody, welcome to Smarter Building Materials Marketing, where we believe your online presence should be your best salesperson. I am Zach Williams, alongside my co-host, Beth Lopniklov. We have an exciting show lined up for you today. We're coming to you one-on-one -on -one to share some exciting news about some changes that are happening at Venvio and what that means to you as our listeners. So I started Venvio in 2007, which was a great year for building products. <laughs> uh, I, I always say that joke, and it always gets a good laugh. I laugh every time. I know, it's like a, <laughs> it's like the ultimate dad joke. Um, which, it's been an incredible, incredible journey for us to grow. I mean, for a number of years, we were very small, mm -hmm. you know? like four, five, six people. Yeah. It, was, it felt like we were just like, just making it happen. We yeah. did, we, though, we made it happen. We did make it happen. Yeah. Uh, and now we're right under 60 people, mm -hmm. which is really exciting. And so as we've grown, um, it's been really cool to see how we as an organization have been positioned and grown in the industry as well as the value we're bringing in the industry. And we have some exciting changes we're gonna be talking about in relationship to the leadership of NVO. So effectively, December 1, I am promoting Beth to CEO which is really exciting. Um, and I'm gonna be moving into a chairman and founder role. So you might be wondering, what does this mean to you as the listener? Uh, not much, <laughs> because we're very excited about continuing to do the podcast where we love bringing great guests onto the show as well as bringing just insights of things we see that is important. Um, but you know, for, as Venvio, you know, we've grown quite a bit and I wanna talk about what that means for us as an organization as well as the industry. Uh, but first off, I want to congratulate you, Beth. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. It's really exciting. Uh, Beth has been with me, what, eight years? Eight years. Yeah. Eight years, um, which has been really cool to see our growth. And a lot of our growth is, frankly, very, um, very much tied to Beth's efforts. It's funny, like last year or the year before, I was I don't know, with my family and like we were looking at like the podcast. I'm like, I have a bunch of siblings and they're like, oh, you have a podcast and they're making fun of me about it. And so they like went onto iTunes and like started scrolling through like all the reviews. And they're like, who's Beth? And like, <laughs> nobody talks about you in these reviews. They just talk about Beth. It's not true. No, but it was, I mean, <laughs> I mean, it, it was good. They, they gave me a good razz about it, which was good. Yeah. Um, but, you know, you might be wondering, okay, that's exciting. What does this mean? Yeah. Uh, you know, why, why are you doing this and what does this mean? Um, I am still going to be investing heavily into the industry as well as speaking. I'm also going to be continuing to invest in the industry and finding ways to help our clients grow their businesses as well as bring more growth to the industry as a whole. And Beth, uh, you've got some exciting things for Venvio planned. I'm super confident in her leadership and I really believe in her vision for our organization and how we're gonna help our clients and help the industry and companies in our space continue to grow. Like that's, to me, the most important thing mm -hmm. is the people on our team, that the clients and people we work with and how are we helping the industry as a whole continue to grow. Like our MO as a business is how do we help companies in the building product space grow their revenue, grow their bottom line, grow leads, and grow awareness using digital technology and using digital marketing as a whole. And so for me, like this is a really cool transition, very exciting time for us. And I mean, for you, Beth, I mean, I'm monopolizing the conversation here. It's, I'm allowed to. You're allowed to. I'm allowed to. That's um, your prerogative as founder. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you know, for you, I'm, I'm, you know, I wanna start by just saying congratulations. Thanks, I'm excited. Venvio is like genuinely my favorite place to be. I hope for people who listen to the podcast, you've gotten to see a little bit into like our culture and how we handle and treat people and what we believe in and what we're investing our time in. And I mean, I can't consider, or I can't think of a bigger honor than to be entrusted with something that, I mean, you dreamed up 16 years ago, 15 years ago. My entire career. Yeah, yeah, let's, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Majority of my career. It's yeah. a, uh -huh. I mean, it's an incredible honor to be entrusted with this company. And honestly, our people are the absolute best people on the planet. We get the pleasure of working with incredible clients and being a digitally focused agency in this moment in oh, the industry huge. is, it's, huge. it's never been more fun. Mm -hmm. 
and we're getting to have really fun conversations and bringing really incredible challenges to our team as we support clients in really deeply investing in digital that brings results, not just posting on Facebook, but being able to see how those things build the overall vision of their brand and their business. And I'm really excited about the results that we've seen and that I know we're gonna be able to see as we go forward. Being a digitally focused agency in this exact moment is incredible because we're kind of seeing the vision that we've been preaching for years now be like spoken back to us and we're getting people proactively coming to us and having really incredible conversations at the events where we teach. So I'm excited about what's ahead and really, really honored to be able to be part of this journey. The, I think the other thing too here, Beth, that's important to know is like, I've seen you spearhead a lot of the efforts around how are we tracking ROI? Like it's one thing to go, hey, like yeah. we're growing traffic or we're growing leads or we're improving a website or we're improving social media and some capacity like those are things that are tangible but you know looping it back and coming back to well, how is this helping somebody actually grow their bottom line and how is it helping them target their audience in a way that is unique that you you know is challenging in yeah. our industry like yeah targeting the channel and selling the channel is unique you don't have like one end customer you have like 10 yeah. <laughs> at times you know you have a number and so that's a part of our dna is is looking at it and going okay yes i might have one person who ends up actually purchasing from me but I need to make everybody successful in that channel. And so for me, it's exciting to look at, well, how have we as an organization invested and grown in those areas yeah. to not only improve the ROI, but track and bring analytics and data to our clients in a way that's unique, that ultimately helps them make better decisions and grow their business in unique ways. And so for me, like I'm, I'm so proud of like our team, like it's just incredible. Like, look, I mean, how much have we grown in our analytics department as yeah. a whole? Like, it's probably our largest department. Yeah, I mean, of, from a growth standpoint. Growth standpoint, yeah. yeah. Like for our listeners, I know you, you know, we're peeling back the curtain a bit, but like where we've invested the most is is really in the analytics and data side because if you can understand how does my effort impact results and then be able to tie data points together, it makes your marketing campaign that much more effective because you understand the why more. Yeah, and then you can make better decisions like you make better um you know better educated um strategies so i i'm deviating from what we're talking about here but it's just a, it's exciting to see how our, our team has grown and the types of results that we're getting and, and for you i mean hats off to you for a lot of that work you know and our entire team but a lot of people that we've shared this with in our team is like wow that's really exciting i'm excited for beth totally makes sense and then they go well like well what prompted this like what mm -hmm. prompted this this it's transition question yeah totally fair yeah. and i think you know candidly looking at the industry and the landscape i've really seen over the last few years that the and i keep saying this like the canvas that we can paint on and the opportunity we have to help is much bigger than what i think most people understand and so mm -hmm. what this is going to mean for you the listener and for our clients is that we're just going to continue to improve the quality of results and quality of content and the quality of impact we're going to bring the organization like that's really the the impetus behind this decision is we see that there's more opportunity to help the organizations we work with grow and so i mean for you beth I and mean, i love i love to hear your take on that too and like hearing your vision but for me like that's the big why behind this is yeah we want to bring even more impact to the industry as a whole yeah i think the two things is like we've mentioned just being able to spend more time in improving and refining the process and the reporting that we have for results that we're able to then make actionable. And the other piece that I would say is just really spending more and more time getting deeper and deeper into the industry. That's become such a significant portion of what we do is conversations with contractors, conversations with builders, big to small and everywhere in between, spending time with core audiences, spending time with key manufacturers to understand pain points, gaps, opportunities. What are people doing that they weren't doing 10 years ago? What's nobody doing now that we think needs to be done so that you're at where you need to be within the next 10 years? Just that type of involvement and just continuing to dig our hands into the industry. The really fun thing about building materials is that it's essentially endless. Like you kind of think you've solved something and then you get there and then you have that conversation again with someone else and they're like, well, that wouldn't work for me and let me tell you why. And so you've got to solve the problem all over again. So there's no end to what we can spend time on and think about and brainstorm and solve. And I'm excited to see our team put into action in those areas. I mean, and we have some exciting projects we're working yeah. on too, which we, we're not going to talk about today. We're going to tease that a bit because that's also part of the reason why we're 
uh, making this transition. We've got some exciting things that are coming on the pike. But you know, the big thing I want to share with you is just this news, and I personally want to celebrate Beth. So for anybody listening, shoot her a note, congratulate her. It's a big deal. She's earned it, um, and I'm thrilled for you. Really, yeah. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Thanks. What else? What else have we talked about? I think just stay tuned for part two yeah. of morning show with Beth and Zach. Or afternoon, whenever we or record. afternoon, whenever we record these. Whenever things. you're listening. Yes, uh -huh. that's true. That's the show. That uh -huh. was the plan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I will encourage you if you are not subscribed to our podcast, if you do not get our content on a regular basis, make sure you go to venue.com/podcast to subscribe. And if you want to give Beth a great note on the podcast store and make my siblings make fun of me, go to the podcast store wherever you uh, listen. Leave us a review and talk about how great Beth is, so <laughs> that my siblings will continue to. Give me a hard time. <laughs> That's really what we're here for, is to give Zach a hard time. I know. Thank you so much for being a part of our podcast and being our listeners. This episode is being released right around Thanksgiving, and so we do want to give you a shout out and just thank you so yeah, much. thank you so much. For giving us your time. We know it's important to you, and we'll make sure we're bringing you value. If you've got ideas, potential guests, all, as always, please shoot us a note at podcast.venue.com. Until next time, I'm Zach Williams, alongside Beth Popnikolov. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, everyone.